Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and it is Monday night. <laughs> I'm thinking what day it was. And we're gonna make something really cute. Um, so say hey once you hop on and let me know that you're here. There's some eyeballs hopping on. Yay, here comes some people. Um, and let me know if I look okay. I've got a new light. So I was trying to figure out if it looks okay and um, it looks okay on my end. So say, hey, once you hop on. Hey, Joanne. Hey, everybody. Hey, Laurie. So glad y'all could come hop on with me and have a seat at my table. <laughs> um, yay, everybody's hopping on. Hey, Luann. Hey, Sherry. Hey, everybody. So I guess it looks okay. Um, I got this new light, which is it's better. Um, hey, Arlene and Sherry. Uh, I got one like my friend Cindy has because I love her so much and it's so much bigger and it puts out so much more light and it looks better. Hey, Carla. Oh, thank you, Sandy. <laughs> thank you. Hey, BJ. Thank you. I got it. It's a new light. <laughs> and look, y'all, it's even so fancy. It has, it has a remote control and I could like sit here and do all kinds of stuff and change the color and whatever. Hey, Kaylee. Hey, Angie and Pam. Hey, Sandy. And we are going to get started. Oh, thank you, Susie. It's probably my new ring light that I've got. It's probably just not me. It's, and I have on like a normal kind of shirt. <laughs> I don't have on a t-shirt. Um, hey, Gail. Happy Monday. Thank you, Lisa. It's a, it's a new ring light that I got. So I'm hoping um, it's working okay. Hey, Rita. Yay, Anna, it's good to see everybody here. Um, so we are going to, thank you, Melanie and Linda. Um, so we are going to do, um, you know, we did the brown paper on that, and then we did the brown paper on the wreath, and I forgot my wreath stand again tonight, and I meant to do it. So Shaney, my friend Shaney, if you're watching, please text Craig and tell him to bring me my wreath stand again because I left it in the house. I gotta make another one. Let's go back here. Um, oh, good, Linda. Looks good all the way from Ohio. Thank you, Tony. Um, yes, the light is. These lights are marvelous. I, I'm. I'm just gonna tell you that they are marvelous. Hey, Kathy, hair dryer, and you had to go. <laughs> use your heat tool to finish your hair. Now, that's hilarious. Hey, it works. That's the same thing. Um, hey, Diana. Okay, so, you know, we've done been doing the brown paper deal thing, um, and I'm going to kind of carry that on tonight. We're going to do, um, I'm going to show you how to do this two different ways because I have this fabulous paper that I really want to use, so I'm going to do it two ways. Oh, the blue cable makes my eyes look really blue. Well, to, to be totally honest, <laughs> when I, Cindy, my friend Cindy with Art Shattered, I went live in her group and she has these, these same lights. And so it made my eyes look really, really blue and it was so clear and everything looked so good. And I was like, I've got to get that light. So mine is just a little, it was just a little Walmart one, you know, whatever. So I went on and got the one on Amazon and um it's it's just bigger it does more it has you can control the different temperatures and it's fancy but anyway i got it you know amazon deal thing um yeah sherry just message me because i will not remember um but yes i will give you that info um hey wanda from the texas panhandle hey debbie thank you for my lighting okay i'm so glad y'all are all here so um this is something I've kind of had, you know, it's one of those things that's been kind of morphing up here and I've, um, all the stuff that's been developing. And this is one of those, um, one of those things where it's just kind of taken, um, it's morphed on its own. Um, so this is what we're going to do. I, you know, I've got brown paper. This is the only, this is all I have left <laughs> of my roll and I got to get another roll. But I've done a lot of prep work today because a lot of this is cutting out and it's, um, it would take forever for me to sit here and cut it all out. So I've done a lot of this. So we're gonna do this two different ways. Um, and so what you're gonna need is some kind of circle. This is just a piece of 
foam board. And you can see I cut it out with my exacto tool and it looks all like I chewed it up or whatever. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's that. So uh, you just need a circle. Mine is, and I know you're gonna ask, um, is three and a half inches wide, okay? I just found a tape roll or something and I made a circle because I kind of knew how big um, I wanted it. And um, so I've got two of them because we're gonna do this two different ways. So um, that's how big that is. And this, this craft tonight is gonna come with a template. Here is your template. It's gonna be in the group when I get done. I've got two different sizes, one skinny, one's wide. And um, that's for a petal. So y'all can guess what we're probably making. Um, so we're gonna, like I said, we're continuing on with our brown paper, like what all you can do with brown paper. Cause y'all know me, I get on one thing and I like to show you, you know, you bought this roll of paper and now we can do all this stuff with it. So thank you, Maureen. It's from Amazon as well. <laughs> um, hey, Deborah. Hey, Joanne. And um, so we're doing brown paper tonight. But I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do kind of the same thing with some more paper that I got at Hobby Lobby that I really like. So I have cut out a whole bunch of these. And I wanna say there's 36 or maybe 40 of these. Cause you know, I'm always gonna have a little too, too a lot more than I need because you know, I get on here and I don't have enough and I have to sit here and cut out a whole bunch. Um, hey Lucy. Hello, Lucy. <laughs> she don't say hello. Okay, so here's my little leaf template that you, that I will put in my group, which is the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. It, bunny ears, it could be bunny ears, <laughs> but it's just a leaf shape. Um, Cause I know y'all would be like, well, how did you cut your leaf? You know, so I made a template and I went by my template and you can see I've rubbed all the ink off of it so much because I've, I've used it so much today. Um, so all of my ink and I've cut it up and everything else, but you can cut it out of cardboard and then just sit there and cut it out, cut out your shapes or, or draw it on your paper, whatever you want to do. Um, oh, Linda, you have your brown paper all ready to go. You just got to find a wire hanger. Um, you, me, you and Amazon, me and Amazon have a relationship too. I, I have to kind of stay. Okay. So I got my, all my little petals. Now this is the brown craft paper from Dollar Tree, Walmart, Dollar General. You know, you can get it pretty much anywhere. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. And there's one step that you could do first, but I didn't think of that until after I had cut out all my petals, but we're going to do it, the, do it after I put all the petals on. So this is my three and a half inch circle cut out of foam board. You can use Amazon box. You can use cardboard. You can use whatever you want to use. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and talk to y'all and I'm going to glue my petals on here okay so i'm going to put on the first one let's turn it over this way you can see where i drew circles and <laughs> hey judy yay judy how are you okay come on and my glue gun's not on hot because i turned it down today because i was burning myself come on what is the deal there we go that next one's got to get going in there so i'm just going to glue my petal on and I'm gluing it about that far down. <laughs> that looks funny, doesn't it? Um, oh, thank you, Connie. I know I love this shirt. Um, you need to break up with Amazon. I know I do too, but it's just so easy just to order it and it comes. My hair's doing something funny. Um, thank you, Tanya. It's my new light. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna lay the next one down and I want them to overlap a little bit. Um, if y'all can guess what we're making by now, I'm sure you know. Um, so I'm overlapping them about that much, you know, just make sure you look up here and your distance looks good. Um, and all mine are not perfect. So don't think, you know, oh, all my petals got to look perfect. Mine are not, I promise you. Cause I was trying to cut them out cause I had to cut a whole bunch out. Um, wondering the same thing that this, this runs true to size, but yeah, I, here's what I do on Amazon. If I ever buy um, some clothes on Amazon or a shirt or something. Usually it's just shirts. I don't buy anything else really, but um, is I look at the comments, the, the reviews at the bottom, and that'll kind of give you an idea. And sometimes they'll t somebody will tell you, oh, I wear a normal large and I went up a size or, so I just kind of trusted it and went there. Yes, Missy, we are making 
a sunflower. <laughs> Looks like a turkey when you were in like the fifth grade. <laughs> but hopefully this is gonna be cute. And this will be something that I will probably hang uh, from my little wreath holder. And that's why I was wanting um, my wreath holder and I went out of the house without it. So I'm just kind of going around. And so see how much inward I'm going from my, um, on my petals, I'm going in about that far. So maybe three fourths of an inch in. And depending on how far out you want your sunflower to be or your flower or whatever to be, then you know, you could make them go all the way to the edge if you want to. Hey Becky, you're okay. Just glad you're here. So I'm just gluing them. This is so easy. But now you see why I went ahead and cut them all out today because um, I'd be sitting here cutting out all of these flowers. So you'll have a template in my little free community group. Hey Jerry, I do too Maria and it's getting about that time for some sunflowers. Um, of course it's just, well, I, there's people that around here that have sunflowers, but you know, I kind of associate it with late summer. Um, hey Vicki, hey Phyllis. Um, so I'm just, gluing them on, but now the part that I could have done ahead of time is I'm going to end up brushing these with some paint. And time to make another wreath holder, right Nancy? I got to, I need one back here because mine's in the house and I walked out of the house without it. Because honestly y'all, since my studio is not in the house, um, there's constantly things in the house on the counter, like if a package comes or something like that, that I have to bring out here. So there's a pile of stuff for me to bring. So every time I come out here, I bring something and I had my hands full and I did not bring my wreath holder. So, ow, there's that. <laughs> so, hey Barb, happy Monday. Yeah, your sunflowers have been out. Well, good Donna, cause they're summer flowers, but I always like associate them with, I guess, the kind of going into the fall, late summer. Yes, there's a, somebody around the neighborhood from us, they have some sunflowers and I, I know they're 10, 12 foot tall, I know. Um, thank you, Brenda. Hey, Sandy. Okay, so this is what I have and I will count them for you because I know you're gonna ask as soon as I get rid of my spider webs and all of that. Okay, so there it is. See, that's just a piece of foam board, nothing fancy or special. Cardboard, use a piece of cardboard. It's just foam board that I had. Um, hey, Corby. Okay, so I'm gonna count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, okay? I've laid this out five times today, and I got a different number every single time. So it just depends on how much you overlap to how many petals that you're going to need. Um, yeah, I'll share the template in my reveal group, and that's the only place I can put them. So it'll be a template like this. It'll print out two little um, leaves. This one's a lot skinnier than this one, so you can use whichever one you want. Um, <laughs> the deer ate yours, and you had to put out all the seeds. So I did 16 petals, but I cut out way more than that because I wasn't sure because I've laid it out five times, and it's been like 17, 18, you know. It depends on how much you want to overlap. Okay, so now I'm gonna stop at that point because I am gonna put another row. Tony, it's doing good. It's my back, but it, it's doing good. It has its moments that it lets me know that it's there. Jody, I did a wreath holder um, a couple of weeks ago and it just, it's like a wood finial looking thing that's about this tall and has a hook on it and it stands on a tabletop and you can hang a little wreath or something on it. And I had been wanting one and I, um, I just made one because I couldn't find one that I liked. So it's sitting on like a buffet in my home and it's got a, the wreath on it that I made the other day out of the brown paper. Um, okay, so this is King's Gold by Apple Barrel. And um, I just put a little on my plate and I'm gonna try this fan brush just because I have several of them because they come with my little brush kits and I never use them. But I think somebody on here said, have you ever tried a fan brush? So I'm just getting a little on and then I'm tapping some off because I don't want it just saturated with paint. 
And then I'm just going to kind of brush on. And you could use a chip brush, whatever kind of brush you want. And just brush it on. Yeah, the wreath holder is really cute. And some of y'all have made those in the group and showed them in the group. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, it looks so good. Um, hey, Gina, I'm good. How are you? All right, got to get more paint. I had needed more than I expected. So I'm just kind of brushing this on. I don't want to paint it solid yellow. I just want to give it that little essence of being yellow. And let me get that on there. That one got a lot of paint on it. Hey, Farah, you're okay? We're making a paper sunflower with our brown paper that I'm probably gonna put on my wreath holder. But I'm gonna make another one, so you're not gonna miss anything. If you, if you hang on, I'm gonna make another one, start from finish, because um, I have this cool paper that I have that I wanna do it with to see how it's gonna look. Okay. So once this yellow dries, it's um, it's not real bright, and that's okay with me. I kind of wanted that muted look and tone. So so you can see that it's just I just brushed it to where it just gives it that little. Let's see if I can hold it like that. That little hint of yellow all the way around. So we're gonna let that dry a second, and let me wipe up. My little silicone mat that's so fancy to have. Oh, thank you, Angela. You're so sweet. I need to go get it done. I can see my roots. <laughs> my roots. Okay. So let that dry a second. Um, hey, Kathy. How are you? All right. So, so that was King's Gold, if you're wanting to know, from Apple Barrel. Gatlin, I don't know how far that is, Angela. I'm, um, I don't know where Gatlin, Tennessee is right off hand. Okay, so here's my flower. That's my first set of petals. So I wanted to put the yellow on first. So now I'm gonna go in with another row of petals and I'm going to try to place them in between. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, like this. Like in between those two. Um, so I'm, I want it like a, you know, to where it's like that, you know, like that. <laughs> um, so if you miss me the first part, I'm going to do this again when I uh, finish this one. But we're going to do the centers a little different on each one. So, um, so they're not going to be exactly the same. I just have, um, this paper that I got at Hobby Lobby to make some to make a sunflower with some form or fashion. Like I said, this has been kind of going around in my mind for a while. And um, I, uh, I bought the paper a while back because it was so pretty. Yeah, it's, the hook is just a little cup hook. My husband had it in his little tool stash in there and I went in there and found one and like, oh, this is perfect. Yeah, you can get uh, cup hooks at Walmart. Or if you want a fancy hook, Hobby Lobby has that whole section of all those knobs and stuff. So um, you could definitely get one there, anywhere like that. Okay, so I'm trying to keep up with what I'm doing. The white, the white is a piece of foam board and you can use cardboard. It's, this is a three and a half inch circle is what I used. Cause I was trying to see how big I wanted it. Cause I didn't want it to overpower my wreath hanger. So I was trying to make it, you know, just not huge. Oh, hey Billy, welcome back then. Glad you're back. All right, so I'm just going around. And this goes pretty quick. The cutting out part is the part that takes so long. And I'll count these and tell y'all how many I have. Cause it was 16 on the bottom. And it's, I don't know how many this is. I wasn't counting. Okay. 
All right, so that's that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 on the top layer, 16 on the bottom. And yours may be different because if you, the way you overlap your flower, your petals, that's going to make a big difference. So there are those. So I'm going to, um, now we're going to do the, where's my brush? Here's my brush again, and this is King's Gold, just apple barrel from Walmart. Real pretty, um, kind of a harvesty yellow color. And I'm going to dip my, my, I got one of these, this is a fan brush because it's supposed to make little streaky marks or something. Bob Ross used to use this little brush to make trees all the time. Hey, Joy. How long are the petals? I'm gonna give you a template so you can cut yours out just like mine, but we'll measure. They are four and three fourths, roughly. Cause like I said, my little pattern kind of got a little small at, while I was cutting because you know how that goes, but I didn't draw them out. I just started, laid it down and just cut around it. And that's what I, trying to do. So I'm just brushing some of this King's Gold paint on the top. So now you see why I painted the um, underside first. But you could definitely paint your paper, you know, brush it all over and then cut out your shapes after it's dried. But this way it kind of looks brushed out. So you could do, um, you could do whatever, whatever's best for you. There's a big glob of something in my paint. I hate it when it does that. Okay. I'm almost done with the yellow though, so. Just getting some on, but it, it kinda is bright when you first paint it on and then it kinda just kinda disappears into the brown paper. And that's fine with me because I don't want it to be so um, in your face yellow, you know, just kind of a, a hint of yellow. All right. If you wanted to be real extra, you could go around each petal with your um, ink pad and like darken each leaf if you wanted to be all fancy. And um, I, of course, I don't have time to do that on here because it would take forever. Um, okay, so I am going to take just a little bit of burnt umber and I'm going to put, I'm going to try, I think I'm going to grab a... Uh, I got all my paint brushes over here. This is my little, this is chippy, my little chip brush. And I think I'm just gonna get a little bit of burnt umber. I mean, a little bit, I'm trying to get some of this off. Just, I mean, I don't have much at all. And I'm kinda gonna go in the center of it and kinda brush outward. Cause I am gonna put a center and I'm just trying to think how far out. And, but you know how the petals kinda look dark in the center and they go out. So I'm just giving it a little bit of that, I guess you would say. A little shading or highlight or something. What am I trying to say? And I'll show it to you up close. Hold on just a second. That just is gonna give it a little bit of more detail. If you don't have any chip brushes, I advise you to get some from Walmart or your paint store. They're super, super inexpensive, and they I will use them for everything, if y'all know. If you've been watching me any amount of time, little old Chip has been used and used and used, bless his heart. He has, he has been worth every penny of about 50 cents. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, Kathy from Denver. Okay, so let me show you up close what the brown looks like. So that's, that's, I'm gonna put something in the center, but that's what I got so far. Cause you know, it gives it that little stuff. Okay, so I've showed y'all how to do this before. And I will say that this took me a while. So it's a good thing I did it ahead of time. <laughs> Thank y'all for the hearts. Okay, so I cut some brown paper about that wide which is probably not even an inch. Oh, it's an inch right on the money. I just took my paper and just cut it, okay? Nothing fancy. Then I folded it in half like this. And you see I didn't cut straight because it didn't fold together right. But anyway, so here's my piece. 
Then, where are my scissors? Scissors. Only got 12 pair over here. Thank you, Monica. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, my little strip of paper, fold it in half, so it's this, and then I folded it in half. And I'm gonna cut almost to the very end. I'm cutting the fold side up to the open side. So I'm cutting these little slits, okay? Y'all seen me do this before. You can do it with paper flowers, you can do it with felt. And if you wanna do your center felt, you, you sure can, it would look really pretty. Okay, so you <laughs> you don't cut it in half like I just did. But anyway, for, for purposes, so you have this. So basically, you have a piece of paper with all these little slits cut in it, okay? <laughs> I just cut that right off. Look, I almost did it there. Okay, so then you're gonna take this piece of paper and you're gonna start rolling it. And then you may have to put a little dot of glue here and there and start rolling, all right? So like I said, when I tell you that this part today took me probably 30 or 45 minutes just to make this part, to get it big enough for my center, I'm not kidding, okay? <laughs> um, I don't even know how many strips of paper I ended up putting on there, but it's a lot. Okay, so then you have something that looks like this. With the glue strings flying. So it looks like this. Okay, so you got it all rolled up like a little center of a flower, okay? So that's what I did, but I did it a whole bunch of times and now I have this, <laughs> a lot of times. So that was one, so this is probably 12, I don't know, I'm just guessing, but it took me a long time. But if you wanna do felt that way and put in the center, it would be gorgeous. But it does, I will say it takes a lot of time and y'all see, look at the tape on the back, because I was using tape at first, because I thought, oh, I don't need my glue gun. Okay, yeah, I did. Um, so th mine is real wonky, because I wasn't using my glue gun. I was trying to tape it. Just use your glue gun, okay? I promise, I'll save you some time. Um, yes, I've done it with felt, Kaylee, but you get this cool little, looks like a cupcake, <laughs> but you get this cool little piece, and it's all textured, and then I just kind of took it, and I just kind of mashed it and, you know, kind of ruffle around all these little thingies, these thingies, <laughs> spirit fingers, <laughs> um, and get it all kind of mashed out and flat like that, okay? So, see, it's kind of thick, but then again, it's going to look really cool once we get it on our thing. So, now we've got to, well, I'm going to add some brown to this. Um, but yeah, you got to do this a whole bunch of times. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's a whole bunch of times. Where? I've got all my paintbrushes sitting over here. Okay. I know, it, I thought it would look neat as a center. Just gives it that texture look. So now you can take, if you wanted to, you can totally take your ink pad and do this part. But I'm going to do... I'm gonna do my chip brush with my uh, burnt umber and just kind of paint it, go in here and not be scared to get all down in there with all the bristles and do all the, you know, get it all down in there good so it's real good and brown. But you still want some of that lighter brown poking through because then it kind of looks like the little seeds. Um, Oh, Connie, yeah, is there a flower that looks like that? I love those rolled flowers um, that people do on their Cricut. I think it's so cool. And I've, I've wanted to do those, but I've never cut them on the Cricut. I've just kind of done them by hand. Um, but it is really cool. You can do all kinds of ones on the Cricut. Just by cutting the paper a certain way, and it makes a different flower. It's so neat. All right, so I'm getting it all nice and brown. But I'm still leaving some of that lighter brown. Okay, so this is what I, I have now. So it looks brown. But see, I still have all those different light colors in there. I mean, don't be scared to, you know, get it all around in there like that. 
and I hold it up to the camera and then I see something that needs to be fixed <laughs> every time. Okay, I need to dry this because it is wet. Oh, a center of a jar and then you put rice on it? That would look really cool. Because it would look like the little seeds. That, look, that would look cool. Um, we're gonna do a different center on the second one that I make. It won't be as fancy as this. Something a bright yellow. I, I just used King's Gold. It's kind of a harvest yellow. I don't have a bright yellow on here to show you the difference. Hey, Tina, you hadn't missed a whole lot because I'm going to do a second one. So don't don't worry. You're going to get to see it again. But you can watch the replay if you, if you want to go back and watch the first part. All right, so that's good and dry. Okay. So now, now here's the part where you can totally do, make this totally, you know, cause right now, make it totally different. Right now it's kind of flat, okay? So if you take your fingers and you just run your fingers down these petals, y'all know I like curling ribbon. You can totally make these petals do whatever you want. You can kind of crease them and give them a little bit of flip and they'll stick out and not be so flat to the to the uh, board. And they will kind of curl up. I'm gonna leave the back ones kind of laying as they are. Kind of like rubbing them on scissors. You know how you do the curling ribbon on the scissors? It's kind of the same principle, but you're just kind of, I'm just running my finger down the, let me see if I can show you. So I just take my finger and I'm just pressing into my thumb and pulling and it'll kind of give it that little curl and make that flower kind of make the petal kind of come out a little. You know, they kind of look a little droopy sometimes because they're so heavy. Do a couple of these back ones because they kind of want to look like they're going the other way. Okay, so now, so they kind of look Looks more realistic, I would say. Whoop. All right. So now here's the center. So how cool is this going to look? It's going to look so cool. But I think I want to add a little bit of shazazz. <laughs> Let's add some shazazz, shall we? But my brown, I just put that brown paintbrush in there. And I need it again. I'm gonna go out a little further with my brown, I think, when I brushed it on because the center is a lot further out than I thought. Thank you, Adora, thank you. It came from Amazon, believe it or not. And it's really comfy too. Paper, what paper? Brown paper from Dollar Tree or um, Walmart. It's just that craft brown packaging paper kind of stuff. A little heavy brown there, okay. All right, so I just did it a little bit more because some of it's covered up. Um, and I gotta dry that because I'm gonna have it all over me. Thank you. Thank you, Judy with the crafty house. It's my new ring light. I got a new ring light, it's so awesome. <laughs> it's not me, it's the light. <laughs> oh, that noise is like driving, drawing something down a chalkboard. Okay. Oh, let's do the gold. I forgot the gold, y'all almost forgot. Okay, so this is pure gold, metallic, folk art. I wanna say Walmart has it too. I'm gonna use 10 chip brushes tonight, I feel it. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little bitty bit on this brush, just a little, cause I don't want it to be just so gold, gold. But I want it to have a little bit of hint of some kind of a glisten and y'all probably will not be able to see it on the camera but I'm gonna try and show it to you. Try to get in there. But it blends in really good with this gold, this other gold, the king's gold. Cover up some of that dark brown that I did. This is gonna look so pretty. I'm I'm excited to see it but I can't wait to see the next one. I'm gonna make two. <laughs> I'm gonna make two. 
Okay, so I'm gonna see if you can see it. Maybe you can, I don't know. Yeah, you can see that. So see, I've got that gold in there. Um, you could do a little rub and buff if you wanna use a brush with rub and buff, but that's my gold. And it's so pretty. How pretty, it just came to me. How pretty would this be across your mantle if you have like a mantle or something where you do a swag and you had like four or five of these across your mantle on a on a garland like swag. Y'all, that would be gorgeous. Um, okay, so now we're gonna put the center down. And let's see, let's get this other stick started. All my scotch tape's gonna get covered up that I thought I was gonna be able to use in it, you know. What was I thinking? Okay, so I'm just gonna put it down in the center and we're just gonna hold it for a second. It's gonna be so pretty, y'all. I like the Hints of Gold too, Cat. I think it gives it a little something something. My dryer. It's one in my Amazon shop from Amazon, it was like $11, and it's kind of rattling, so I got another one when they had the Prime Days, and so it's my backup. I hadn't opened it up yet. Oh, thank you, Tammy. <laughs> portable version. I know, I need a portable version of this light, too, so I look this good, like, walking around all the time. <laughs> okay, so, y'all, this is stinking cute. Isn't that pretty? Just all the different, the shading, the yellow, the little hints of gold. It just gives it that little something, something. Yes, a poinsettia would be gorgeous. Oh, Shannon, you're so sweet. <laughs> um, I just like the brown paper. I like do, you know, when I get on something, I like to show y'all different things you can do with it. But now we've got to have some type of, oh yeah, here's my jeep. Some type of a little hanger. I'll make a little loop back here where it'll hang from my um, from my little wreath holder. How pretty would they be on a chair? Yes. I mean, it'd be really pretty. And I did cut it way too long, but um, you got to see what, what part I want the top to be. Okay. So, if you got to figure out if your hook is up here... You know, I don't want it to hang way up too tall, so I want my hanger to be, you know, about up the top of the petals. I know it looks really cool, doesn't it? And it's brown paper. And if you get tired of looking at it, you just throw it in the garbage. You know what I'm saying? It's just paper and a piece of cardboard or whatever on the back. All right, so I'm gonna hang it. I'm gonna put my glue right there and let that sit a second. An orange, yes, Susan, an orange one. But just imagine if you had them across your fireplace or like if you had like a buffet or something where you, like your coffee bar or something and you put about four or five of them on a string across there, how pretty that would be. It'd be gorgeous. Okay, I gotta let that set up a second. Let me pull it a little, there we go. Terry, I made it. It's been a couple of weeks. If you'll just go on my main page and just scroll down to like last week or maybe the week before and you should see it. But I just took some wood out of my, um, out of my bins that are back here, my stash, and, and all of it was from Dollar Tree or the spindle was from Home Depot or Lowe's and then the top, the little piece was from uh, Hobby Lobby. So it was really, um, really quite easy. All right, I need a piece of brown paper I'm gonna put over the back of this. Let's cut off the piece to hold this glue down because you know it takes forever for it to set up. So I'm just cutting a little rectangle and I'm gonna put it right over my glue to hold my hanger. Donna, yes! <laughs> Donna read my mind. Burr, 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 burr. Donna, Donna, Donna says bumblebee. Okay, how long are the petals? Okay, Candace, the petals were, I measured them already and I don't remember, but I'm gonna, my template fell on the floor. Hold on y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a template. Come back. <laughs> oh, my tip, woo, have a fight with the garbage can. The template's gonna be in my group because it won't let me put them on my main page. But, uh, so for you to just download it and print it. 
So you can cut the petals. And um, how long were they? Four and three fourths long, the petals are. And my circle was um, three and a half inches wide. Because I was trying to think, I didn't want it to be too big to overpower my um, uh, my wreath holder. You know, I didn't want it to be so big. So look how pretty this is. See, y'all can see the gold from there. Just kind of glistens a little bit. So pretty. Okay. Don't have a middle, but yes, a garland would be pretty. You could even make them smaller and they would still be pretty. Make them smaller and put them in a dough bowl. Y'all, that is so pretty. And they're just brown, it's just brown paper. Brown paper. Okay, so there's that one. So now let me show y'all this fancy paper that I have that I cannot wait to show you how it's going to look. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna show you the remnants of it. This is the yellow color. Do y'all see this? This is Hobby Lobby. Um, it's in their specialty paper, scrapbook paper. Both sides are the same color. Um, Y'all can see where I've cut them all out. I used two pieces. This is the second piece. So I used one piece and then half of this one, okay? Um, it is $1.99. Where's my sticker? I'll put the sticker over here. It's a $1.99 sheet, but when they're on sale, you can get it for a dollar for this paper because I thought this was gorgeous, this gold, because it looks all crinkly. Here's the brown. And that really it's like gold it's so pretty but now the back of it is this color don't I don't know why I, I, why didn't they do the same I, I, I don't know so see the sticker still on that one because I haven't cut it yet okay but I already have drawn my circle on it <laughs> so I'll know how big to make my center um oh Jill you could you could put a dowel on the back and stick it oh yes that would be so pretty Yes, put it put it on a dowel. That's gorgeous, y'all. I would say a wreath, but I wouldn't put it outside because it would look really pretty. Cynthia, yes, ma'am, you are live. Okay, 16. Yeah, I did 16 for the back, 15 for the front. And it's just going to depend on how far you overlap your petals. I just kind of eyeballed the space between them, what I thought looked good, and that's how I did it because I've done it. I laid it out like five times today and it, I got a different number every single time. <laughs> I just love it. It looks so cool. Okay, so now we're gonna try it with this fancy paper. Cause I love that paper. Cause when I saw it, I said, oh, that just speaks to sunflower to me. Okay, so if you wanna do it with brown paper, which I love the brown paper one, don't get me wrong, that thing turned out pretty. Um, okay. So here's my circle again. Y'all see how chewed up it looks. I cut it with my little exacto tool thing and it looks like somebody chewed it up with their with their teeth, but it, you know, use cardboard, Amazon box. You're good. All right. There's all my little my little things. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to start at the top and then I'll just keep going. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Kathy. Y'all are so sweet. And see, some of mine have the point cut off. And I'll put that one, you know, in toward the center because we're not going to see it. Cause, so they're not all perfect because I, I was get, trying to get in a hurry because it was taking forever because I had to cut them out. Um, I had to cut them out twice. Basically, I did the brown one and I did this one. Because y'all didn't want to sit here and see me cut out 36 petals <laughs> out of paper. Um, so I just did it ahead of time to where we could do other stuff and not have to sit here and cut out paper. The petals, Kathy, they're four and three-fourths inches long. but um, And they're just this shape. You can draw your own, if you, your own if you want to. But, you know, if I just did the template because it would be easier. Because some people are like, I can't draw that shape. <laughs> So I did a template for me too. So I was like, well, I'll just do it for them too. Um, oh yeah, Dawn, you could do corrugated cardboard in the in the front and make the front look, um, the circle in the front and make it look all done. Yes, you could do a dowel. Y'all, see, y'all got some great ideas. And um, that's why I love this kind of stuff because when y'all start, 
your reels start turning, that's, that's what I love. That is what I love because just because I'm doing this craft doesn't mean that I thought of your idea. And everybody, everybody brings something to the table. Y'all have heard me say this so many times. Um, you're always welcome at my craft table. Um, I don't know all there is to know about crafting. I don't want to pretend like I do because somebody else at the table's always got another idea and it looks so awesome or it could be even awesomer than it is. So I'll take all the suggestions because I love it. The center is brown craft paper. Hold on. The center is brown craft paper and it's, it's cut in a strip and then it's roll, it's, it's cut slits in and it's rolled up like this. And I just did that about 12 or 15 times. It's, it's just, it was very time consuming, but that's why I did it before. Do the cashiers, hit, no, the cashiers don't know me by name just yet. I try to stay out of there. It is, it is, it is about 20, 15, 20 minute drive from my house. So I don't go in there uh, probably as often as I would if I live closer to it. But now I used to work really close to it. Hey, Shelly. Hey, is it Rental? Hey, Rental. Daisies, Vicky. yes. Oh, daisies in the spring. And you could do all those bright colored daisies. You know how they have, they dye them, of course, but the pink, you could do blue, all the colors. You could do Gerber daisies, how pretty this would be. Oh, this would be cool. You're decorating your bedroom in sunflowers. Yes, and put them in a big vase on your dresser and make like three or four different sizes and put them in a big vase on the dowels like they said earlier. Yes, paint that basket. <laughs> Bridget, now stop with your, with your basket weave painting. <laughs> yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 on this one. So see, every time I do it, it's gonna be a little different, but y'all look at that paper. Is that not beautiful? I swear I got glue strings flying everywhere. Um, but look how pretty. Yes, y'all are brainstorming and I love it. But it would be pretty, like I said, if you took your stamp pad and did it on the edges of every petal, that would be beautiful. Cause just think of how they, it would make them pop out each petal would be individually. Um, oh, you found some calendars today? I heard they were coming out or they had put them out, but not at mine. I haven't seen any yet. Your wheels need WD-40 <laughs> That's funny. That's probably the funniest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like my wheels need WD-40 in neutral. Y'all are funny. Y'all cracked me up. Oh, thank you, whoever said that. I missed the comment. So I'm just going around and I'm just putting them in between. So they're so I'm just kind of putting the new the front set in between. So like the next one will go here and here and here. So y'all see what I'm saying? Okay, and I'll have to put it in my um in my Amazon shop, I will. It's really soft and look, it has a pocket. <laughs> Not that I'm gonna use the pocket. Oh, you got one 15, 20 minutes from you? Ugh. Mine's that far, so it kind of hinders me from going as often. But I still go. <laughs> shoe polish. See, Dawn, I need to get some shoe polish from the Dollar Tree and try it. I have seen people use shoe polish. Uh, let's see here. I thought I had two for a second. We may have to brush this one with some brown. Oh, that's hot. Let me say an ugly word. Whew, that was hot. Thank you, Kathy. It's from Amazon. Let's see. So I'm a member of a group on Facebook and I probably shouldn't tell y'all about it. I just need to put it in the group because I probably can't say the word either, but, um, and it's a deals website, like a, I mean, a, a Facebook group, and they put Amazon deals in there. 
It's probably going to be dangerous for y'all. <laughs> yes, Dawn, you can make a turkey. You sure could. That'd be really cool. We might have to make a turkey when it comes Thanksgiving with some brown paper. But um, anyway, so they show you deals about Amazon and... Um, And they give you like codes and stuff. And I think I saw this shirt in there and that's how I found the shirt. All right, so now I've got tons of glue strings. I've got both layers. See it kind of, it looks really flat. It looks even flatter than the other one. Um, so I'm gonna try to see what, oh yeah, this paper's gonna work. Try to curl up. Oh, let me brush a little brown first. Before I start all that. So this is my chip brush and my burnt umber. And then I'm just gonna kind of go up my petals as bad as I hate to dirty up this paper, but I want it to have that dimension of that shading at the bottom of the leaves or petals rather. Oh yeah, the brown would look pretty. If you did like every other one, it would look pretty. Um, I'm gonna make my center out of the brown, but I'm gonna do something, try to do something a little different if I can. And I got that spot real heavy right here. So since this is like, oh yeah, it wipes off. Look at there, look at there. Still looks like a big brown spot though, but oh well, it'll be okay. All right, so I've got my brown with a big brown spot down there. <laughs> looks awful. <laughs> um, yeah, this one is scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. And it's like this, the special paper that's, um, so it cost a little bit more, but if you get it on sale, it's only a dollar a sheet. So it's not too bad. Just buy it when it's on sale. Okay. So there we go. But yes, look, I can do my, do my little curling trick with my finger. And so I just grab my finger and my thumb together, and then I just take my kind of my thumbnail and drag it up, and it makes it curl like that. Y'all know how to do that with your curling ribbon and your scissors. Cause so we gotta give it a little bit of dimension because it's too flat. It's too, too flat. Um. Let me, um, it's B-O-M-B -B Deals. That's the name of the group for Amazon stuff. So if you search that, it'll probably come up. I just I probably just don't need to say that. Paper is on sale this week. Oh, I'm all in sync with Hobby Lobby. They got the paper on sale. B-O-M-B -B Deals. That's the name of the group. I just didn't want to get in, you know, trouble for saying that. I'm trying to curl these just a little. That way they all kind of have their own little droopy personality here. Okay. So see how much better it looks from, you know, just getting that little bit of, um, Making them curl up. It's pulling rip it. Okay. All right. So yeah, y'all can look for that group. This paper is from Hobby Lobby and it's in the specialty paper, scrapbook paper, and it's a dollar ninety nine. But when they're half off, it's only a dollar. But look how gorgeous this is. Now this is a part I'm not real sure about because I'm gonna try to do something a little different. So we're gonna see. So I already cut my, I cut my circle, if y'all can see my, my circle line. Um, I cut it the same size as this piece on the back, which is three and a half. And I may even cut outside a little bit of it. So let's try to, it sucks, this is so pretty, I don't even wanna cut the paper. <laughs> That's how it was when I cut those petals. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to cut the paper or not. Okay. Got it so close to the edge. I about can't make it bigger. But you know, I was really smart and I, I drew my line 
with my fancy dancy little friction pen. So I'm gonna make those lines go right away. Ain't that fancy? Look at there. Woo! That is just the fanciest stuff I've ever seen. So if you haven't ever seen these friction pens, they're F-R-I-X-I-O-N. Um, let me show you because it's just the most fantabulous thing you've seen all day. Okay, so I take this, people use them for quilting and sewing. So I take the pen and I'm gonna write my name. How about that? So there's my name, okay? See if y'all can see it in action. Come on. There it goes. There it goes. It's gone. See? You can still see it's white, I guess, because it's paper. But they use it for fabric, and it just, it just disappears with the heat. So how cool is that? I was like, that's so fantastic. And I drew my circle on here, and look, I made it all go away. And look, I... I did it right on the little tag. Oh, the lanterns, those lanterns are, um, though I did that, whew, it's been about a month or so ago. Um, they're all alive too. Yeah, these pans are really cool. Miss Diane sent me those, let's see. The website. Oh gosh, I spilled water on my sunflower. Um, okay. Well, I didn't get all of my pen marks. Okay. And they say if you put it in the freezer, it'll come back. I don't know. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. So here's my center. It's not perfect. Okay. And I'm going to stuff it with my polyfill. So you could use tissue. You can use cotton balls, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put glue on the outside of my sunflower about, I don't know, a little over halfway around. And try to keep it from oozing out when I try to mash it down. The friction pens, you can get them at Walmart. Amazon has them. Somebody said they're in the sewing section at Walmart too, but you can get them like in the, where the school supplies are. But, um, I'm trying to see if I had the pack. I have the pack somewhere and I don't know where they are. But it's F-R-I-X-I-O-N. And it says erasable. So yeah, I think you can erase it with this little thing too, but that is just like the neatest thing I've ever seen. Um, and they're on Amazon. I know somebody said. Okay, so I've glued my center. And I'm hoping this is going to do about like I want it to, but we're going to see. All right, so, whoop, there went my paper. So I've got this big honking bag <laughs> of polyfill. And I would tell you what live it was that I'd used that one time. And it, when you buy it, it's all like suction down. Like, they, like the whole pack was like really flat because it's like vacuum sealed. And then you, when you open it, it goes whoosh. And I don't remember what I was doing that live I was doing that time. And some of y'all probably remember that, but it was so funny. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little polyfill and hope that this kind of sort of works. Because in my mind it does, but you know, that, that don't always, is not always the case in real life. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit in here to get it to puff up. Yes, Terry, there it is. That's that's the name of that group, okay? I just probably can't say that. Um, if you search that, like, uh, they'll, they it'll come up probably. It's a group. Blow your mind. Oh, they have highlighters that do the same thing? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just stuffing my polyfill in, that, in there because I want my center to be a little bit raised and I hope that this is gonna, I think I can do a little more. So yeah, that group, don't, y'all don't blame me when, you, when you're up tonight till midnight, scrolling through that group, looking at stuff, yeah. But they give you like the coupon codes for it and it'll give you so much off and all this and I mean, it's, it's great. So I, I've gotten a lot of things from that group, you know, from 
them saying that about the giving you the code and stuff, and it works. <laughs> Melanie can't look at polyfill without. And Cheryl remembers that. That was so funny because I got so tickled because it was flat. And I was like, I can't wait to pop this bag. And and then somebody was going to go and um, and um, uh, pop all the bags at Walmart. But I had never seen them like that before. All right, so I'm just kind of going around the edge and glue in a little at a time. But you don't want to stuff it so full that you can't shut your little top, your little, the middle part. <laughs> so they pick little pieces out of it. I know, but that bag will last me a long time. Okay. Sometimes I've been lucky enough to find a whole bag of that not opened at like thrift stores and stuff. And I'm like, heck yeah. There you go, LaDonna. Some people buy the Dollar General pillows and they they um, they do that. They get the stuffing out of the middle because it's the same thing. And that bag of stuff, somebody posted, I saw somebody posted today where it had went up a whole lot. Everything has gone up so much, y'all. It's crazy. Yeah, it was funny, wasn't it, Sandy? <laughs> Wendy went and popped it. Wendy, was it you that was going, we was going to go on a trip and pop them all? Okay. All right. So, it is kind of a little wrinkly, but I'm okay with that. But see, it made it a little 3D-ish. Wait, my side's not. To where it's not just a flat piece of paper glued to a piece of paper. I'm using my baby wipe to wipe off this excess glue so it won't burn me. All right. Cause it oozed out if i don't sit here and hold it thank you cynthia uh amazon group yeah somebody will type it in probably but don't do it too many times because you know they'll ding you on that too if you say that word okay look look how cool this is now i do like the center of the other one better but look how that paper i just can't even with this paper i just oh god the glue strings are crazy me too, Carla. I do all the time. Fabric, all the things. Look at all my crazy glue strings off of here. Okay, so there's this one. So I thought about this, but I don't know if that's too much. This is a little bee from my shop. There's a little set of bees in there, the little mini mini set of mini bees. Um, that, but then the other thing I thought about, see, I would love to do this center here with this paper. Ugh, wouldn't that look beautiful and do the center like this? But um, I kind of wanted to do it. Um, Uh-oh, you're getting a storm, Gloria, and my mouth is not with my voice. That's funny. Um, but I, I, I wanted to do something else on this one, maybe. Uh, just a little different. Where is my... So I already prepped this from earlier. Okay. So this is just a piece of cloth, little muslin. Y'all know I use this a lot. It's like some kind of little cotton fabric. And I want to get this straight here. My iron, I'm gonna iron it. <laughs> um, I wanna take my stamps and stamp something on it. So what could I put, shine bright? Or what's a good saying I could do for, um, if I wanted to like put a little a little piece up here and then down here, what could I say for a sunflower? Like um, shine bright. Um, yes, Kathy, those mattresses. <laughs> I have a funny story about those two. Uh, it's a Deidre story, but her and her husband got one one time. And she called me over there before they opened it. She was like, if I cut it, is it just going to just like pop out like a big piece of toast or what's going to happen? I'm like, I don't know. So we're all sitting there and she's all about to cut it. And we're like, is it just going to like just jump out of the package? I wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. So what should I say? Be a light. That's good. Be a light. You are, oh, that's long. You are my sunshine. Oh, but I could do that. 
That is long. You are my sunshine. Stand tall and shine. Oh, Laura, I like that. Stand tall and shine. Grow in love. I like stand tall and shine. Let the sun shine. See, I knew y'all would, I didn't even think of this ahead of time because I knew that y'all would be fantabulous. Oh, if I use the B, I could put be kind. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to take away from, he's so cute. All my sunshine, be happy and put the B on it. Be happy. Long. I just like, what was it? Stand tall and shine. I like that. Okay. I'm looking. Look to the sun. Oh, that's good too. I like stand tall and shine. That kind of just hit me at the moment, and I think I like it. Stand. So y'all know I've got these little things, and I want to say they're from Michaels. I've had them for ever a long time, long, long time, and they have served me well because I've 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 used them quite a bit and had them a long, long time. Okay, so there's my stand. So you can see it through the other side where you're going. Reach for the sky, that's good too. Reach for the sky. The B is too bright. See, that's what I was thinking too. I could always darken him up a little bit. All right, so I got my stamp on here and I'm gonna go on my little fabric. Ooh, that looks so good. Let's see if I can tear it. It's hard to tear something so small. So I gotta cut it. So there's my stand. That's gonna, ooh, that's gonna look so pretty. I think the B is too bright. Shine on. Oh, Vicky, that's good too. That's good too. All right, let me put all my little I gotta wipe those off, but I'll do it when I get to it done. Only thing, the thing is, I gotta use the L twice. <laughs> All right, so put this off. So it's gonna be stand tall with one L it's to start with. But I love this block just because it lets you see through what you're stamping and you can tell where you're going. All right, so there's tall. Anti, yeah, I could probably rub him with my little um, pa uh, little pad right here, and and it would be perfect. Okay, and but I love these stamps, and everybody's asked me where I get them, and I want to say they're at Michaels because I saw them not too long ago again. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Okay. And, so there's my and, and then I'm just gonna go down over here and do shine. My A, S, let's move my end down. And I'll wipe, I'll wipe them off later with a baby wipe and clean them before I go inside and and I promise I will. I've been doing good about not leaving my paintbrushes in the water. <laughs> I know y'all don't do that either, right? <laughs> when I get done with a live, I try to wash my paintbrushes out. Yeah, the wings need something, somebody said. Okay. Uh -oh. Yay! All right, so I'm going to set all this to the side. All right, so... There's stand tall. But I agree, I think the B is too, he's too bright and yellow. All right, so, I think of where I was gonna put this. I could put stand, but see, look how cute this is gonna look. Whoa, till it falls. Stand, and I could do tall. And shine. Look how cute that's going to look. Look how pretty. Do y'all like it like that? Or should I play some different? I think that looks cute. Looks really cute. 
Shine for Jesus. That's a good one. Oh, good, Becky. You found them? Okay, so y'all like the heart, so I'm assuming that y'all like the way I have it. So I'm just going to... I think Hobby Lobby had them, and they maybe discontinued them. Rub and buff on the wings. Ooh, yes. Okay. That, we could definitely do that. Put gold on the B to tone it down. All right, so I'm just going to do my stand. And I don't... I'm not wanting this straight, per se. Because that's the whole point. I want it to kind of look a little bit tattered. Does that make sense? Oh, they y'all like it. Okay. And you could definitely rough the fabric up a little bit, give it a little more grungier look, and it probably would look good too. I just didn't do that. Thank y'all. Okay, and shine. And I'm just basically putting a dot on each end and just barely putting this on here because it doesn't take much to hold it down. Now, let's see what I can do with Mr. B. He does look a little bit... He looks a little bit too uh, polished. Let's see if I can tone him down. And he may not even work at all, but... Okay, so that toned him down a little bit. But I don't, I just don't know about the yellow and his yellow needs to be a little more yellow like the flower, I think. But, rub and buff. We'll try it and see what happens. And I'll put some, maybe I can just dip it right out of the tube. It does look more whimsical. But let's just see. Let's see if I can. I'm just going to put it on his stripes and see what happens. Like if that tones that down a little. It does tone it down. Definitely. He might look better on the paper one. He, yeah, he might. Um, let's see. Can tell this tube is going to last me a lifetime. I'm just kind of doing some little whipsy little strokes with it and seeing if I can get it to look um, tone him down just a little bit. Okay. He does look better, but I don't think I'm going to use him though, but he does look a lot better. See, I just kind of brushed him all over there. Yeah, he may be too much with the words. I'm thinking that too. But let's just see if that looks better. Okay. Let me see if I can hold him up here. So, B or no B? Just tone him down with rub and buff, Judy said. Burnt umber. Does he look better? Kind of smearing it all over. See how he's all glistening. He looks too plain for the fancy paper. Rub and buff him. B is too big. He is he is rubbed and he's not buffed yet, but he is rubbed. He has been rubbed down with gold for sure. I like the B on it. I think it looks fine. Can you put these, put that rub and buff in water, I guess? See, he's all, he's all golded out now. He's fancy. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I kind of, kind of, I don't know. It might be one of those things I have to think about it, sleep on it. Okay. And then... He looks... He looks all fancy and gold. He's got to go somewhere. But I, I mean, I kind of like him on here now that he's gold. Um, so I do I just buff it with a... I'm, not, I'm new to this rub and buff game. Um, I think you just buff it with like something that makes it shiny or something. 
because it's dry. Gotta buff it. Okay, y'all love to be. Okay. And y'all saw all I did was I painted him earlier, but I ran him across my pad and then I just put golden buff, a rub and buff on it and a golden buff. So use the B because he's all fancy, he's all fancy gold now. I think he looks cool like that. No. I like the gap filled with the B. See, I'm thinking so too. Because you know I can always make another one. Because you know I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby and I'm going to get some more of that paper. And you just be kind. All right. I'm going to put a little dot. Just a dot. Because I can always pop him back off. If I don't like him. Yeah, he looks better gold. Okay. Cute. So y'all got to get some of this paper, and they have other colors too. Um, try them on the other flower. He looks cool. I love this. But this has got to be my fave. That petal is wanting to do its own thing. Now, I absolutely think that these are <laughs> awesome. I got the hanger. I don't know why I'm not holding it by the hanger, but. Art, look. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> um, but look how stinking cool this is. I sure hope y'all try these because this is so much fun at how much you could go, how far you can go with these. You definitely could put them on a dowel, put them in a uh, center fly, uh, in a centerpiece on a table. You could even like put them in a plate as a piece on a plate on your dinner table. That's so pretty. I just love the, I just love how it looks. And y'all, this is brown craft paper. This is it right here. So you can make a wreath. Now you can make sunflowers. And we cr did the crumple paper on that Christmas tree back there. I mean, I just love just seeing what I can do to get different looks and stuff. Um, the beginning, what paper is this made from? It, the first one, this one, is brown craft paper. Very easy. This one is made from some paper from Hobby Lobby that I made slide off the table. But it's like a sheet like this in the um, scrapbook section. This is the center of this one. But I, the yellow one fell off the table over there. And it's just a special kind of paper. It's just one of their specialty papers. Look how pretty. The center is this paper right here, and I, I glued some of it down, and I put some polyfill, so it's kind of puffed up a little bit, and then I glued it shut, and then this center, it's brown paper too, where's my little, and I made this really big by doing a whole bunch, and then it turned, you know, making it into a big one, and you'll have to go back and sh I'll show you how to do that. And then I put it in the center. But look how pretty. I love them both too. And I'm going to have a hard time. Like which one am I going to hang up in my house? Um, but look how stinking pretty this is. I love them. And I hope y'all love them too. And I love that um, that y'all came on to watch me. Yes, you could add some little seeds in the center. There's so much you could do and keep going. Um, and just, I mean... The possibilities are totally endless with this. Um, yes, and Dollar Tree has the craft paper. They have paint, too, at Dollar Tree. Um, but you, wouldn't it be pretty with white? Like somebody said, do the daisies, how pretty they would be with daisies. Or if you're a teacher and you had a classroom and you could put these on the wall and make little paper stems coming down. and Y'all, there's so much you can do with this. They're so, so pretty. But I'm going to hang hang them on my little wreath holder and um, I'll take a picture on my wreath holder too. I'm just wondering how I'm going to get this because you know when it hangs it kind of wants to do that. So I'm thinking somehow I'm going to probably I'm probably going to glue the string to the, one of the petals so it will stay upright like this and not hang you know want to hang forward because it is a little heavy on the center. Oh you're welcome Jean. Shells of pistachios. Yes, yeah, Sharon. Pistachio shells and paint them brown and glue them all to the center. I mean, 
y'all. And then the doing felt with the same technique and putting this big thing in the middle with felt would be beautiful too. Um, I, I use 16 petals on the back and 15 petals on the front because it's two layers of petals. Um, and this one was even, was different. So it just depends on how much you overlap your petals when you glue them down. So I ended up cutting about 36 to 40 of each one because I wanted to have more on here, obviously, because I couldn't, it'd be hard for me to say, oh, I got to cut four more, you know, so I cut more. Um, yes, Marcedia, any open face flower would look great like this. I mean, I could see pink and yellow in the center. I mean, just beautiful flowers, but I just love this idea and it just kind of, I saw something and maybe I was like, oh, I can do petals and doing a round thing. And then it kind of blossomed into a sunflower. And then I saw this paper and you know, like I said, sometimes ideas kind of roll around in my head for a couple of weeks before it actually gets done and it morphs in that time <laughs> into something. So this is what happened. Um, you're welcome, Debbie, you're welcome. Just like the talented gal who created them. Oh, you're so sweet individual rolled center or did you glue the ship together okay so I started I had little strips like this one was probably about that long and I would do one and then I would take my next strip and then I would start it and I would keep wrapping and then I'd do the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one until it got that big so yeah this was a bunch of little strips um and it took a while that's why I didn't do it live because I knew it was going to take a while and it took me longer than I thought it was going to take me. So, hey, Mary from Petal, Mississippi, you're close to where I'm from. The name of the group. Joanna is B-O-M-B. -B, deals. And it's just a group on Facebook. And they do the Amazon, like, yeah. Y'all don't blame me when y'all are up all night looking at it. <laughs> I try to stay off of it. <laughs> But sometimes they have some stuff, anything from kids stuff to, I mean, everything. So, yes, Denise, I think creativity is a gift from God, too. And I think we all have some. You just have to use it, and you have to nurture it, and you have to use it. Because the more you use it, the more you get. So everybody goes, won't you run out, run out of ideas? And I'm like, nope. <laughs> Yellow papers. Um, It took... For, for this one flower, it took one and a half, and the, my half slid off my table over there somewhere on the floor. But um, So I bought two sheets, and then I bought one sheet of brown because I knew I wasn't going to need as much. Um, and But I bought them a, several weeks ago and because um, I knew it was going to be a sunflower. I just didn't know it was going to do this. But... Um, but it took, so I bought two pieces and I still have half of one left, maybe a little more than half. And I tried to fit them on there as, you know, as I tried to fit them every which way to save the paper. And I still have petals left and I have pieces of it left too. But, um, I glued like one at a time, Lori, like I would take this one and do this one. And then I would glue the next one down and I would wrap and then glue it down and then grab the next one and then do the same thing, you know. So no, I didn't glue them together like a long thing. I just glued at, as, as I was going. Oh, Rhonda, I hope you feel better. All right, well, this is upside down. Okay, so I'm gonna hop off and I cannot wait to see these in the group. And I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna upload the template to the group too for the petals. Wherever it is, it it must have slid off the table. To no, here it is. Um, I'm gonna put this in the group so you can cut out your petals if you wish. So it'll be there. And there's like this one on the top is a little bit fatter than the next one. So um, I just cut on the outside of the black line. Is what I did. Yes, Kathy, that's it. So yes. I hope y'all make them and I cannot wait to see because we went from paper flowers. Well, we went from fabric flowers. Now we're on paper flowers <laughs> and I love these. So thank y'all for being here and um, I appreciate y'all watching and making my page what it is. And um, I will see y'all Thursday and I'll see what we can come up with in because I have no idea what we're going to do. 
but I'll figure something out. <laughs> so thank y'all for being here. Thanks for watching. I love y'all. Have a safe week, and I will see y'all Thursday. Bye, guys. I can't wait to see y'all.